I would love to do frog legs. I haven't done that in years. You can see the outline of the frog. <laughs> You are in for a treat today. A couple of our super fans asked me to come to Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada and try out the amazing food their town has to offer. We start off our day at the Olympia restaurant for lunch and having one of the best Reuben sandwiches I've ever had. That corned beef is to die for. After lunch, I'll take you on a town tour of this quaint Canadian town. Then head to Paisley's The Wee British Shop and grab some sausage rolls and sweet British treats and drop them off to our super fan Kevin and his family. Kevin and family, here it comes. At dinner time, we head to the Yardbird and try their sweet tangy frog legs, juicy bison osobuco, and warm bread pudding for dessert. If this van life food adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. Well, good day. How you guys doing today? Uh, we are in this beautiful, sunny, but cold town of uh, Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, and it is minus four degrees Celsius. And uh, two of my awesome long-time fans live in this town and they've been asking me to come here for a long time and today's the day uh, today we're going to be doing uh, like three restaurants and then I'll be doing some more stuff tomorrow in a different video uh, it's just gonna there's too many things to do in one video so uh, yeah so today we're going to be uh, hopefully meeting up with Kevin and uh, Kevin I sent him an email uh, a few days ago and just asked him what his favorite restaurants are and I also got reached out by a gentleman here, right here, it's Talk of the Town. They're not open Monday, so today's Monday, but I needed to be here Monday to shoot this video and then tomorrow shoot another video uh, and definitely gonna be eating uh, at that place tomorrow. And then we're gonna be meeting Scott tomorrow, uh, hopefully for either breakfast or brunch, and then we'll be eating at Talk of the Town. I don't remember the last time I was in Bowmanville, but it's part of Clarington so anybody who lives in the area if you want to type in the comments below uh, i guess the area is called clarington and this is the town in clarington i'm imagining and just up ahead on the left is the first place we're going to be eating at it's called olympia and then after that we'll go uh do a tour oh yeah and then the toasted walnut i'm gonna to have to come back for like another video time because there's just too much stuff well, there it is up ahead. Uh, let's go grab some grub. Beautiful town. Beautiful. Free parking. Nice. Oh, they got their own parking here. See, look up there. Clarington, Bowmanville. There's the toasted walnut. There's a pita pit back there. Well, I'm trying to stick to the mom and pop shops like this place. Hello. Hi, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, sitting down? Uh, I was gonna get something to go, if that's all right. Menu? Yes, please. Although it looked like your Reuben was pretty good on the menu. That's good too. Yeah, I'll do I'll do the Reuben, do please. Yeah. Can I just get your feet? Sure, Ken. Do you want mustard on it? Oh, yes, please. Do you want fries or anything with it? I'll just do fries. Fries, okay. Or That's perfect. I'll just take that. Thing. Yeah, thanks. Looks like an old diner. I guess the kitchen's at the back. This is like a little kitchen out up at the front. Let's check out their menu. I'll show you guys. Olympia Restaurant. Again, it's one of those restaurants that has billions of things on the menu. All day breakfast, pancakes, omelets, uh, Olympia Famous Breakfast. And then we have Olympia's Famous Sandwiches and Melted Cheese Sandwiches. Hot Open Face Sandwiches, Triple Decker. Oh, they got Benedict's. My goodness. Then another page of soup, salad, side orders. They got souvlaki, they've got poutine, dinners, burgers, Greek style wraps, unbelievable. Fish and chips. 
Italian dishes, oh my goodness. So much food, so little time. Thank you, have a great day. First grub of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, woohoo! We are back in the car. I said that all backwards, just for fun. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? I am looking forward to the next two days. So the food came to $14.96 after Ontario taxes here, and I tipped uh, basically $3, $2.99, 20%, so it came to $17.95. Starting off our day. Oh, look at that. They, they they stabbed my food. I'm hoping this lighting is good. You know what? I'm going to move the car. This lighting, I think, is terrible. Let's do it. There we go. hope that's a little bit better. I'm in their parking lot. The sun is behind me now, which I think will be definitely better for the video. I always got to think about these things. Uh, put my napkin there from now on. That's how we're doing it. See, they stabbed it twice just to make sure it was dead. <laughs> and I got my two waters. Okay, let's pull up. Okay, let's pull the, the. Whoa! Those suckers are huge. Okay, whoa. I haven't had a Reuben in like, I don't know, two years? At least two years it's been. So she just gave me napkins. She asked me if I wanted a knife and fork and all that stuff. I'm like, no, it's all right. I got, then these are nice napkins. I love restaurants that have super nice soft napkins like that. Fantastic. Nothing else in the bag. Didn't need any ketchup. Let's go in for a close up. All right, guys, there's your extreme close up of this beautiful Reuben and fries from Olympia Family Restaurant in Bowmanville. As you saw by that menu, I have to come back. There's no uh, if, ands, or buts. Now look at that, beautifully toasted. That's like grilled. That's like uh, buttered and then thrown on the grill top or the flat top. And uh, so that's that's not toasted, that's grilled, which is even more scrumptious. And then we've got, oh my goodness, look at all that gooiness. And we've got probably, uh, if I flip her open, flipped her over, we've got the sauerkraut on the bottom. Oh, that's a big sandwich. I actually stuck my fingers into the sandwich trying to dig around because it's huge. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want to get a cross section. Look at that cross section. Oh my goodness. We are in for a treat. That is one beautiful Reuben sandwich. I can smell that sauerkraut. There's the sauerkraut all sticking out the backside. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, yeah. I think I picked the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yup. Wow. Whoa. Crazy hot. Let's try that fry. Yep. That's crazy hot too. Let's keep sticking in. Ooh la la. Don't stop. <laughs> wow. I've been planning this one for about four days, ever since um, Kevin got back to me and Scott, and they told me all their favorite restaurants in town. And I know why they both picked this place. They both said that the Olympia is really good for breakfast. Mm. And everything else, oh my gosh. That corned beef is to die for. It's like they threw it on the, the flat top too and they uh, toasted it up nicely or just fried it up and it's all crispy and it tastes beautiful. Look at that one just hanging off the side. It's like, eat me. Mmm. Oh. Dude, woo! That is one beautiful sandwich. I don't know what they do with the fries. I think I've talked to you guys about that before. It's almost like there's a little bit of a breading on the fries, and a lot of places do that. 
I'm not sure what they do to the fries. I've never, well, I've never worked in a kitchen that served this kind of fries, so I have no idea. But they, they might just buy them like that, I don't know. I'm not sure if these are hand cut fries or they buy them in a big box. Some people do the, the fresh fries, but it's, um, it's hard to keep good stock in all the time, so. Sometimes it's better to buy frozen, less time prepping. Mm. Go out and get it now plus. That's how good that thing is. It is phenomenal. Mm. Every bite is crunchy. The corned beef is juicy and savory. Mm. The bread is crunchy and buttery. And then you got a little bit of cheese here happening. So it's got some gooiness to it and definitely put the mustard on I'm not sure if you're a mustard lover or not mustard is a must on the sandwich <laughs> oh my gosh that is phenomenal oh I got some on my face sorry I hate that I try to look every once in a while to make sure I'm all clean and presentable Wow, I picked a perfect day. It wasn't going to come because a bunch of the restaurants here are closed on Mondays. But I'm glad I did and because I'm going to be doing a stealth camp tonight into tomorrow. All those stores will be open tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I picked the right restaurant to eat at first. I'm going to polish the rest of this off, and then we'll go for a walk and show you around Bowmanville. Cool? Cool. Mmm. I just spent the last 20 minutes to 40 minutes looking through my car because there's a beep. And I couldn't pinpoint where the beep was coming from. And it's usually when one of my uh, cameras, anything electronic has been on, sometimes it gets turned on in the bag. And it makes that noise. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I'm like moving things to the back and then sitting in the middle of the car to try and eliminate stuff. But uh, one of the boxes I haven't looked in in a long time is right here because I have a, a towel over it. And uh, it's my uh, carbon monoxide tester or uh, carbon monoxide alarm. And uh, obviously the battery's dying. So... That just drove me nuts. I'm like, there's something in the car. And there's no way I'll be able to sleep tonight with that constant beep sound. So uh, I have to find it. It was just one of those things that will make you crazy if you don't find it. <laughs> and it was just, it was down in the box. It should be up out somewhere because obviously we need this when we have the uh, uh, heater going. But I haven't had the heater going at all this year. So that's why I haven't had this out. It's just been in the box. So now that it's reminding me that there's no battery, uh, let's buy a battery on our walk around Bowmanville. We'll put a new battery uh, in our carbon monoxide and uh, we won't die tonight. That'd be cool. All right, let's go. Beautiful artwork on the walls. Big turtle. There's the Olympia restaurants. Yeah, pretty little town. Kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of Bracebridge. Shop, dine, and discover downtown Bowmanville. We're definitely going to do all three. And that's where we're eating tonight. It's got some pretty good food. Let's go check out this church. Oh, more artwork. Ah, the yard bird. I'm looking forward to the dinner. Nice little French restaurant right beside the tower and that church, beside the uh, Salvation Army thrift store. I'm not sure if he's old enough to drive. <laughs> very, 
very, very pretty looking houses here in Bowmanville. Look at this one. I love it. Looks like uh, Kevin McAllister's house a little bit at the front. I've got to tell you, I started my watch to see how many kilometers we walk and how many calories we burn. Just in case you guys are interested, it's for sale. Definitely want to come back here in the summertime. I this area is just even more beautiful when it's all nice and warm out and all green. Love that house. They got a Pizza Hut and check it out. An old KFC bucket. The last one I saw was in Bracebridge and it's gone now. Company bought the building when the KFC moved and they tore that down. So it's nice to see buckets are still around. Let us know in the comments below if you have a KFC bucket in your town or city. There's a pizza pizza and behind the KFC was a pizza hut. So they're covered for pizza joints. I'm sure there's a bunch of mom and pop shops in town too. We are now walking back towards Olympia. Again, lots of nice buildings. Uh, there's a Canada's place here, just in case you're interested. It's not open yet. <laughs> we got a Starbucks and then there's a couple restaurants here. Uh, there's off track bedding there and then there's the old country restaurant and bar and over here is monster pub and restaurant let me know if you've eaten at these places if you like the food what was your favorite thing because you know me i'm always hungry a little tiny strip plaza and we've got a jamaican place again lots of food to choose from Ooh, tattoos who wants to get a tattoo i do i do Ozzy. <laughs> Looks like Happy King Buffet Restaurant didn't make it through the pandemic. It's all boarded up. Just a couple tables left inside. We got some clothing shops. Double decker buses. Oh yeah, here's the Little West Indies. Uh, oh, see, they do Caribbean takeout and grocery, so it's a grocery store, but they also have uh, some hot food that you can take out and stuff. Again, I've got to come back. I think I'm just going to go back to my car for a quick second. I've walked two kilometers, um, but this jacket I'm wearing is crazy hot. Are you? I've got like a t-shirt on, long sleeve t-shirt on top of that, and then I've got this hoodie, and because I'm walking, I think I'll be good. Let's go. Rusty needs a wash. A nice painting to break up the monotony of the side of that building. That's beautiful. More fashion shops. So there's talk of the town. You got to see that one tomorrow. I believe they've been in business for about a year because on uh, Google Maps, I always like to tour the town, like look around with the uh, street view, and that uh, is not there. And we'll be eating there later on today. Of course, there's train tracks running through the just north of the town. I'm not sure if I'd want to live like right there. Right beside the train tracks. It depends on how many times a day and what time of the day the trains run through here. All these old houses with a wraparound veranda. Then you have like a big oak tree casting a shadow on it. <laughs> really neat. <laughs> Just walked past this person's house. I saw that. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. Holy schmoly, obviously uh, leftover decorations, I guess, from Halloween. It's now uh, January 15th, I think. Look at that thing. I've been tripping on that in the middle of the night. Look at this old, beautiful school. The uh, placard there says uh, 1889, I think. But that's the bell tower that they used to have. 
and that t the uh, bell there is 1889 and they restored to the site for the contributions from a principal Tom Turner but uh, beautiful school this looks like a historical house there's a plaque on the right beside the door and uh, they have an atrium on the side that'd be so cool look full wraparound veranda and an upper deck wraparound veranda very nice and right across the street is a nice brick building right there and then we've got a nice church with a nice aura around the top st paul's united church that's a good shot two churches and the water tower love it gotta do a still still once I pass that stop sign. There we go. Just passing the yard bird again. And it smells amazing. But I've done just over five kilometers and my pace is uh, 12 minutes, 22 seconds. It's because I'm stopping and videotaping all the time. I'm also just over the 8,000 uh, step mark. Once again, one of the reasons I'm in Bowmanville today is to eat at a few places that Kevin likes. And I told him I'd give him a call when I got to town because I want to buy him something. And I'm hoping these guys are open till past four. It looks like they're open at the moment, so let me give him a quick call. He has no idea I'm going to call him. Hello? Kevin? It's yes. Ken Dominic. How are you, sir? Good. How are you, sir? <laughs> All right. I, I am at one of your favorite places, Paisley's. Oh, very nice. The wee British shop. I'd love to pick you up some stuff for you and the family. So you said that they have the best sausage rolls around. And I'm sure yes. I'm sure your kids love like the tarts and stuff that are here. Oh yeah, anything. And they'll eat anything. They're nine and five, so they'll eat anything. Nine and five. So I'll, I'll, I'll buy a bunch of stuff. And if you don't mind, if, you, if I could drop it off, that would be great. Absolutely, I appreciate that. It'd be really cool. Just uh, text me, now you have my phone number, text me your address and I'll, I'll be by in about a half an hour or less. All right, thanks, Kevin. Okay, yeah, no problem. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right, bye. See, so it even says right there, best sausage rolls in town. Paisley's Wee British Shop. Let's go in. Ah, oh, lots of British treats and eats and tea, of course. Oh, and you can buy jerseys. And here's all the chocolate bars from England, United Kingdom. Oh yeah, there's the Guinness ones up there. Very cool. Macaroni and cheese and a can. Oh, peas. Irish peas. Let me know in the comments below if you love HP sauce like I love HP sauce. And guess. Ooh, clotted cream. Hey there. Uh, how are you? Good, how are you? All right. I was told you had the best sausage rolls yeah. ever. We have good ones. <laughs> we have beef or pork. So, so I'll do three pork. Three pork, yeah. Two beef. How long have you had the shop? Uh, about 12 years or so. Oh, that's awesome. Anything else? Of course. I'm going to do... Six of these tarts, six of these tarts, okay. please. Oh, those cookies are awesome. What are those cookies called? Empires. Empires, yeah. right. So six bake well, six fern. Yeah, that's a fern. Yeah. And this one's called? Bakewell. Bakewell, bake well. right. And we'll do six of those cookies, please. Okay. I'm going to add <laughs> jelly tops. Okay. I got three of these. Yeah, sure. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. I think we will. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Too. Bye. Bye. Kevin and family, here it comes. All right. We are off to Kevin's house. First, I'm gonna take the battery out of this thing because it is driving me nuts. 
nuts. Aha. Battery. Ow. Come on. We better put one back in though. 3.5 kilometers to go. Go. Obviously, I'm not going to show you exactly where he lives. That would be wrong. But I'll let you know how it goes. Mr. Dominic. Kevin, how are you, man? Good buddy, how are you? All right, nice Good. to meet you. Yeah, you too. Just so, spent the last 45 minutes to an hour hanging out with Kevin and chatting and talking about work and life. And we were both raised in Scarborough and we were both born in the same hospital. Different years, of course. But uh, I got to meet his wife and his two kids and such a great family. Beautiful house. And, uh, but, uh, you know, they enjoy their privacy as well. I don't blame them. And uh, so, but it was nice meeting Kevin. I thanked him again for uh, showing me uh, these, or telling me about these restaurants. And he's like, there's so many more. Anyway, so I gave them all their treats and I kept, so I bought everybody a one of everything. So everybody got uh, a sausage roll. Everybody got a t two tarts each, a cookie. And I think that was it. And then I took one of each. And uh, so we'll do those tonight. Uh, I don't want to do them right now. We'll do them as like a later snack. But uh, right now I want to get back to town and do the Yardbird. Uh, very expensive restaurant. And there are two things on the menu that I think you guys are going to enjoy watching me eat. Back downtown, Bowmanville. Let's go uh, check it out. See if there's any music being played in there. If there is, if it's quiet, then I'll stay in there and we'll eat in. I think I'd rather eat this kind of a meal in there. But uh, if it's too loud and I won't be able to deal with the music uh, for copyright and all that stuff, then uh, we'll bring it back here and we'll eat it in here. Let's go check it out. Got a beautiful sunset happening over there. Need a dollar for parking. I moved my car from over here to here because this is uh, just easier. Monday to Friday, uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it's almost 5, so that should do me. The yard bird. Right. Perfect. I think I already know what I want, too. Oh, you do? Yeah. I looked up your menu before I got here. I would love to do frog legs. I haven't done that in years. Yeah. And then ostrich. Can you have ostrich or something? You can't get that anymore. Oh, okay. That's turned into the bison of buco. Okay. I'll do that, please. The hors d'oeuvres. And that marinated olives, frog legs, and steak tartare. Red curry hummus with toast, soup du jour, and shrimp cakes. And then over here we had braised short ribs. And then I was thinking the ostrich, but they can't get ostrich. So, and you can't get duck. So no duck, no ostrich here. It would have been my first time ever doing ostrich, but I haven't had bison in a long time. So that was my thing of choice. Let me know if you would, what you would like on this menu. Do you recommend a beer? What kind of beer do like? Uh, I like lagers and beers. There's, uh, there's, a beer here. there's an amazing lager called Brewery Maze Mountain Beer, which is brewed in Nashville. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. I'll do that, please. Okay. I like local beer. Thank you very much, Grace. You're very welcome. Do you use fingers, you think? I think so. Okay. Because there's three eggs, I kind of try to pull them apart. Oh, okay. Yes. I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Very good. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Frogs legs. Something I never thought I'd be doing on this channel. But he's got it on the menu. 
Let's give it a shot. Give me an extra napkin because it's going to be messy. Sorry about the music. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm glad it's battered. Tastes like chicken. It's a nice meaty leg. It's like eating chicken wings, but sweeter. The chickpeas are a nice touch. It's like that's arugula. Very, very nice. I'm enjoying that a lot. Fantastic. Not that good. So good. Is that arugula? It's uh, arugula and it's in a miso vinaigrette. It's also a miso vinaigrette. Yeah. Usually you get three sets of frog. You can see the outline of the frog. There's like the pelvis and then the legs. You just gotta pull it apart and eat it. Let's get the only rough one hand. With the messiness. The presentation was awesome. It tasted great too. Clean plate award. Wow. As I'm sure you already know, you know it's the keys when I pull all that marrow out. But I'm revising. So the marrow's come out and made into the gravy? Yeah, add it to the sort of blood top onto the gravy. Those are like polenta fries. Polenta fries. Yes. Looks amazing. Um. Does it be pepper? I enjoy pepper. I enjoy pepper. Okay. Don't want to insult anybody. Perfect, thank you. I'm a pepper guy. I do I'm just going to do it like that way. Okay, perfect. That's why I like it. Thank you. Checking out this bison shank. It is absolutely fantastic. The presentation is wonderful. It smells amazing. I'm glad he likes a lot of pepper. I didn't want to insult anybody. Let's eat. A little bison, a little bit of pearl. Unbelievable. That was so, so tender. <laughs> Juicy. Wow. Look how steamy it is. All that gravy is beautiful. In fact, you put the uh, bone marrow on top. Am I supposed to dig it out? If I can. Yeah, it's just like Look that. at that. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. That is the best bison I've ever had too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pull that out. Put the bone marrow on. The bison. Oh, you gotta give this a try, people. Unbelievable. Just look how easy this is to put my knife into. I'm just like pulling it apart with my knife. 
I could probably do the same thing with my fork. It is so juicy, it is so tender, it is falling apart. I'm really enjoying Bowmanville. Kevin, you live in a really good town. This is incredible. I'm gonna finish the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was that good. Oh my gosh, go out and get it now. Plus, next up, let's do this bread pudding with ice cream and caramel. Mm. Goodness. All right, thank you. Big bowl, big bowl. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Bread pudding, fresh fruit, caramel, ice cream. Let's eat it. I feel like bread pudding in a while. Mm. Warm. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> Let's eat up and head out. It was that good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that dinner was amazing. All right, so we gotta get gas and a battery and then we're off to bed. But uh, yeah, yeah, that place is, uh, I'll go out and get it now plus. Gas time. for home hardware to uh, grab a nine volt battery for the carbon monoxide detector. Hopefully they are still open. Turn left, like they are open. then arrive at your destination. Nice, sweet. Good old home hardware right. to the rescue. Hello. Oh, we can help you just another one. Oh, sure. Thank you very okay, much. Have a good night. You too. Hey, Rusty, we've got you a new battery. Okay, now we're going to be super safe tonight because I am definitely using that heater tonight. Holy schmoly. So that's amazing. I think this was like five bucks. And then the lithium ones from Energizer were like 16. So this should be perfectly fine. This should get me. And again, the the alarm thing tells me that it's running on a battery, obviously, because it likes to annoy you with that annoying beep, 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 beep. Whoa, craziness. Did something just break? Now I gotta do the test, ready? Crazy loud. All right, now we're safe. What the hell? It'd be nice to screw it into something. But at least we're safe now, people. Let's go find a nice stealth spot and start stealth camping. Well, it is 10 o'clock. As you can see by my watch, if it focuses, 10 or nine. I've burned 760 calories, but uh, I think, again, if this phone decides to 
focus it wants to focus on the window dirt as opposed to outside but uh i think we need to uh, set up the stealth camper eat some goodies that we got from the british shop and this is the starbucks parking lot nobody here no signs so this is the place we're going to park if we are asked to move we will move but uh let's get everything set up in the back and start eating just making sure there's no cars around all right open up the back we'll try to shut it as quickly as possible because we've got the disco lights going i had the car running for a bit so i'm hoping it's warm enough there we go lights lights out shut that uh lock the doors always try to remember to lock the doors as quickly as possible got my water uh kevin sent me a very nice picture thank you very much kevin uh of his kids eat, eat, eating all the food that i sent them in the, when i got to their house we definitely got to try this sausage roll first check out the size of that sausage roll that is a huge sausage roll he says they're the best sausage rolls he's ever had so I can't wait to try it. Mama makes sausage rolls and they're about that long and maybe that high with like just a, a just smaller snack size. These are like meal size. Let's see if we can eat this over the bag. Mmm. Definitely be better heated up. But the pastry and the flavor of the sausage is dynamite. Mm-hmm. I'd love to try these fresh baked and very tasty kevin is correct and these are very good sausage rolls i like to try the beef ones next up are the two tarts and that cookie i'm going to save the cookie for last because i think that's going to be my favorite thing and let's try the one thing i haven't i don't think i've ever had this thing called a fern i'm not sure if it has the same thing in it as this tart uh, and it's just a different decoration on it. As you can see, there's a fern on there. Let's bite it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. And that was a fantastic tart. Uh, again, I don't know which one this is called. I think this was called the bake something. Again, I love that white icing, the pastry around it. Inside these things are different things. I think I like the fern over this one. This is great. The fern is better. Mmm, that's very good too. Mm -hmm. Both of those are amazing. I'd probably buy the fern over the other one. And then this is the one I've had before. And uh, I think it's basically like two shortbread cookies with some jam in the middle, some icing on the outside, and a little cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very crumbly. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be eating this over my bed. My goodness. From what I remember, this is pretty good. Don't remember it being that crumbly. If this was the only thing people were serving on a, on a spread on a table, <clears throat> it'd be fantastic. But if I had all three of these, the fern is the way to go. Uh, the sausage roll, I'd have to check out the beef one. I should have bought a beef one and uh, tried them back to back. But I'm so used to regular sausage rolls. That sausage roll was amazing. Uh, my mom's are better. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it goes. You always, your mom's food is always better than everybody else's, right? Am I right? I'm right. But uh, again, if you come to uh, Bowmanville, go to the British shop, Paisley's, uh, please pick up at least six of the ferns and you will love them as much as me. They're pretty good though, but the fern is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Definitely the fern. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Just wanted to say thank you very much. Uh, that's all I have for you today before we stealth camp until tomorrow. But I had a great day here today, starting the day off at Olympia, having that amazing Reuben. Definitely started my day off with a huge thumbs up and I go out and get it now plus. Uh, and then walking around Bowmanville, checking it out, which I've never done before. Uh, and then uh, going to the British shop, buying a bunch of sweets, buying the sausage roll, going to Kevin's house, meeting a super fan and uh, and his family, which is amazing. And then ending up at the yard bird and having those frog legs, which were fantastic. Uh, and then having the uh, bison for the entree. Um, but uh, I had a great day here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, please leave a comment, a thumbs up, uh, share the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, to all my channel members, thank you very much for all your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock. If you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped on over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger. Oh yeah.